Hey guys, so Barbara Taylor reached out to me about how to teach a horse to cross water. So I am always the first one to get off and start a lesson. I'd rather start on the ground than when I'm up in the saddle. So preparation is key. We don't wanna just force the horse into water. What I wanna do is set him up with an understanding of crossing something that might be uncomfortable for him. So what I'm gonna start with today is the tarp. So just sit back, I'm gonna introduce the tarp to Sully, sending him back and forth across it before we even go and look at any water. I'm waiting for you to explain why, okay, all right. number one, why you've got it so close to the edge, okay. and number two, why you, the rationale okay. of starting out small and making it big. Okay, so you notice I started with the tarp small, where Sully could actually step over it. Again, this is confidence building. This isn't making my horse do anything. It's about building his confidence. So, two things. I made it small, and I put it up against the wall, or the rail. Now, why did I do that? Well, I want to close as many doors as I can, so he only sees one door, which is over the tarp. So, after we got him confident going over it when it was small, then what I've done now is I've opened this tarp up, so he's got to put more feet on it. So, it looks different. He might not care a bit about it, or he may be cautious because it looks different now. That's a horse's nature. So, let's see what we've got with Sully.
all he's shown us that he's he believes me he trusts me as his leader he had a good look at that tarp i let him look and i just put as much pressure as i needed to on him to ask him to cross it it wasn't about forcing him across it it was a lot about building trust in him and letting him see he wasn't going to get hurt and we've got a lot of things going on today it's a nice windy day we've got a gun range shooting off i got my german shepherd running around the outside of the pen i i think sully's doing great let's go see how he does with water i think we've got a good pedal out in the pasture and let's see what he thinks about that okay well we found a nice little mud puddle in a pasture here neither one of us are muddy yet so you're going to see it firsthand how he responds to this uh, from the get-go. Remember, we started with the tarp to build his confidence in what I wanted him to do. Now we're gonna add the water, which is, is a problem for him when I'm told. So we'll see how he uh, takes his puddle right now from the ground, all right? Let's get going. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna introduce him to it. I'm not worried about making him go across it right now. But mainly, yeah, between me and what he doesn't like. So I'm just going to send him back and forth between me and the obstacle he doesn't like. was confident with what I was asking him to do. He put his head down. I had to decide whether he wanted to eat grass or smell the turf and see what it was. You know, horses naturally have poor depth perception. You know, Sully doesn't know if this is a, an inch deep or if it's 10 feet deep. So letting him explore it a little bit, again, builds some confidence with him. And I truly believe that starting him and preparing him with the tarp and teaching him how to send back and forth is what builds that confident, brave horse. Now, I'm gonna to quit today, and that's another hard thing to do, right? We've got great progress. I need to go saddle him up and ride him through it. Nope, I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm not gonna be a predator. I'm gonna say, job well done, buddy. Let's go have some hay. And tomorrow, we'll try riding through it. I'll see you then. 